Hi there, my name is Uchira and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create and manage your courses on Superprofile. Before going any further, I'd also like to mention that this is a paid feature and if you'd like to start selling your courses on Superprofile, you'll have to be on our creator plan. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of your courses dashboard. I'll be showing you how you can create your own course, how you can manage your assessments and how you can manage your courses. So let's just get right into it. So to give you a general overview of your courses dashboard, as you can see over here, my screen is split into four. On the top over here, I have a bunch of general performance metrics such as my total sales, my total revenue and my conversion rate. Below that over here, I have an area where I can view and manage my assessments. Below that, I have an area where I can manage my courses and sort through them. And right at the bottom over here, I have all of my individual courses along with their individual performance metrics. So let's just start off by creating an actual course before I explain all of these in greater detail. So to create a course, all I'll need to do is go ahead and click on the create course button on the top right corner of my screen over here. So once I've done that, I can see that my screen is again split into two over here. I can see on the left hand side, a bunch of editing information and my input information. And on the right side of my screen, I have a live preview. So I know exactly what my course will look like for my customers. And a note over here that you can also toggle between desktop view and mobile view as well for maximum accuracy. So I'm going to start, over, uh, start off over here by actually filling in my page details, starting off with my course title. So I'm going to go ahead and title it The Sacred Art of Chilling because that's my course. After which, I'll go ahead and upload a cover image or a video through a link over here. So let me go ahead and add my image. After which, I'll be giving a brief description of my course. Okay, so once I've done that, I can go ahead and define my call to action button. So I'm pretty satisfied with enroll now, so I'm going to leave it at that. And next, you can also go ahead and add in any course benefits, any course highlights, any photos, testimonials, FAQs about me, an about me section, or even showcase other products that you've made on Super Profile over here to add credibility and build a better relationship with your customers. Once you're satisfied with all of this, go ahead and click on save and continue. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and actually map out my assessment. So I'm going to start off by adding uh, a module by clicking on add lesson over here. And now I can choose between adding a video, a text or an image, an audio or an assessment. So in terms of adding assessments, we have two types. We can either add an assignment or a quiz. An assignment is recommended more for longer tasks that you would have to upload, such as an essay or a PDF or a project, while quizzes are for more short knowledge checks. So let me show you how to do both, starting off with assignment over here. So when I click on assignment, I can either select and add an existing assignment or I can create a new assignment from scratch. So let me show you how you can create a new assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and click on create assignment. And now I have two tabs over here, assignment and settings. So an assignment over here is where I can actually define uh, what I would want my students to submit. So starting off with my assignment title, I'm going to go ahead and add in a PDF on chilling and then i can also determine what kind of submission type i'd like so i can choose between a bunch of options over here and then i can also write in a description of what this assignment is actually about so i could uh, basically it this this part is me defining what i want out of my students so let me just say uh, an essay on all the ways you chill okay now i'm going to go ahead and proceed to settings and here I can basically define the rules of my assignment. So I can set a passing grade, let's say 80% out of 100. And now I can also choose if I would like my student to, uh, students to have retakes by clicking on the toggle over here. And then I can go ahead and define uh, the attempts, the maximum number of attempts I would like. So let's say two attempts. And once I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead and click on add to lesson over here. So now that we've seen how to create an assignment, let me go ahead and show you how to create a quiz. And it's honestly pretty similar. All I need to do is click on add lesson and then click on quiz. So again, I can choose to either select and add an existing quiz if I have one or create a new quiz from scratch, which is what I'll be doing over here. And I'll click on create quiz to open the page. So again, as you can see on the top over here, I have my questions tab along with my settings tab. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my questions tab over here first, starting off with my quiz title. Let's just say MCQ on chilling for the sake of this video. And then I can go ahead and add in my quiz instructions uh, just so I let uh, so, so I can let my students know what to do. So let's just say choose the correct answer after which I can go ahead and determine my questions. So I can choose if I would want uh, my questions to have either a single correct answer or multiple correct answers over here underneath question type. So let's just say single correct answer over here for the sake of this video. And my question will be, did you chill today? And then I can go ahead and add in my answers as yes and no. So as you can see, I don't really need answers three and four for which I'll be deleting them by clicking on this trash icon over here. But in the case that you need to add in more options, I can simply just go ahead and click on add answer over here to add as many as I would like. So let me just get rid of those. And now I can go ahead and select a correct answer, which in my case will be A. And I can also go ahead and add in an explanation if I would like, but this is completely optional. And to add in more questions, I can simply click on add question. But for now, let's move on to clicking on settings. So now again, this is where I can define the rules of my quiz. So I can set a time limit. I can also allow retakes by simply, uh, you know, determining the number of maximum attempts that I would like. I can also set a passing grade over here. I have kept it as 50%. And I can also show my solution to my quiz taker if I had previously given an explanation in the last page over here. And I can either show them the solution after complete, after they complete the quiz or after each question attempt. So once I'm satisfied, I'll just simply go ahead and click on add the lesson over here. Now, if I'd really like to flesh out my course and if I have multiple modules, all I need to do is go ahead and click on new module over here and follow the exact same instructions that I did earlier to set up my first module. Now, underneath that, I also have an option to set up live classes if I'd want. So all I need to do is go ahead and click on set up underneath live classes. And then I can go ahead and choose a location for this class. So either a meeting link or Zoom. And then I can also go ahead and determine when I would like this class to occur. So would I like it to happen on specific dates, daily, weekly, monthly? I can just simply define the dates over here and then click on confirm. Now coming to pricing, I can either choose to charge my customers a fixed flat fee. Uh, I can also let them decide their own price or I can keep it free as well if I would like to do that. Then again, I can also choose to uh, give my customers lifetime access to my course, or I can also choose to limit their access to a duration, a specific dur durations that I define over here. So let's just go ahead and click on lifetime access for this, for the sake of this video, and then click on save and continue. Now, these are the final finishing touches of your course. So now you can go ahead and choose the theme and style of your course. So we have three options over here. You can choose between default, light and dark. So I like default, so I'm going to go ahead with this one. But I can also change my style over here by clicking on change next to uh, an underneath style over here. So I can choose my background to either be a solid color. Uh, I can also choose it to be a gradient. I can also let it be a pattern if I would like to do that. And I can also animate it if I would like. I really like um, this one. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. And again, I can also upload an image of my own if I would like to do that as well over here. Now, coming to customizing your checkout experience for your customer, you can choose between either letting them have a same page checkout or next page checkout. And you can do this by simply clicking on customize next to same page checkout over here. And really cool UI aspect that we have over here is that you can see what this will look like for your customer as well. So if you choose a uh, same page checkout, you can see that it will look like this. If you choose next page checkout, you also know exactly what that will look like for them. And once you're satisfied, click on update. So we also collect uh, the email IDs and the names of our customers as a default on our platform. And you can also enable a verification code, which is basically a temporary code that will go to their email in this case uh, to basically help you verify that their email ID is a real email ID over here. And you can also go ahead and collect their phone numbers. If you don't want to do that, simply click on hide over here next to phone number. And if you want to add any more questions to know more about your customers, you can also do that by clicking on add question over here. 
Now, in terms of boosting sales, we also have an option to be able to offer your customers a bump offer uh, that you can set up by clicking on setup right over here. And in terms of the legal aspects of your course, you can also go ahead and set your terms and conditions, your refund policy and your privacy policy by clicking on setup next to each option over here underneath terms and policies. Now, if you also want to incentivize your course so that your uh, customers will be more likely to complete it, you can also offer them a completion certificate. All you need to do to be able to do this is to click on setup over here and follow the instructions over here. You would, if you would like to also further customize your course URL, you can also do that by clicking on modify over here next to page URL and then modify your slug over here after clicking. And once you're satisfied, you can click on update URL. You can also choose to redirect your customers to a different URL over here by clicking on setup next to post, post purchase behavior and entering your redirect URL. If you have other communities such as a Discord or Telegram community that you've already set up on Super Profile, you can also give them access to that community over here through this course by clicking on Setup next to Access to Community. Then you can go ahead and select the community that you want to give them access to and click on Save once you're satisfied. Now, if you're also running ads and have a Metapixel tracking ID, you can also set that up over here by clicking on Setup next to Metapixel. Or if you want to track your traffic better and have a Google Analytics ID, you can also set that up over here by clicking on Setup next to Google Analytics. Once you're satisfied with all of this, simply click on Publish. And that's it. You've successfully created your first course on Super Profile. So now that you've created your course, Let's go ahead and talk about how you can view and manage your assessments. To do this, all you need to do is click on view next to course assessments over here on your dashboard. After which you can see that my screen is again split into three. So on top over here, I have my navigation where I can toggle between assignments and quizzes simply by clicking on them. Underneath that over here, I have a search bar where I can individually search for my assignments and I can also sort them based on a bunch of different parameters that we have over here. And underneath that, I can also view my assignments individually along with their individual uh, performance numbers as well. And similarly for quizzes over here, I have a search bar where I can individually search for different quizzes by name and I can also sort through them through similar parameters. And again, underneath that over here, I can also view my quizzes individually along with their performance numbers as well. Now let's talk about how to manage your courses and keep a track of their performance. So at the top of your dashboard over here, you have a bunch of general performance numbers, such as your total sales, your total revenue and your conversion rate, which is basically the percentage of total sales by the total visits to your course page over here. But if you're also confused about these terms at any point, not to worry, we also have tool tips next to these terms so you can check and uh, clarify the definitions at any point. Now, as you create more and more courses, it might also become a little bit difficult to keep a track of them, which is why you can also search for your courses individually by name over here using the search bar. And you can also filter through them based on their sales and revenue and also sort through them based on their name, sales and revenue. If you need to export this data as well, you can also do that by clicking on export. And this will be sent as a CSV file to the email that's connected to your Super Profile account. If you also would like a different method of viewing your dashboard and viewing uh, all of your different courses, you can also switch and toggle between the two different views that we offer over here. So that's really all you need to know about the course page over here on Super Profile. But if at any point you have any uh, questions or run into any issues, you can simply reach out to us on our chatbot over here on the bottom right corner of your screen. We love talking to you guys and getting your feedback on our product and how it's working for you. So please do reach out to us. And yeah, that's it. Thank you.